come on in and check out our van wagon. Hey everybody, I'm Daniel Graves from Aesthetic Perfection. I'm the uh, lead singer and uh, music programmer guy. I'm Joe Letts and I'm the drummer. I'm Elliot and I play keys and guitar and bass. And this is our home for six weeks, or the last four weeks and two more weeks. Well, starting off with our uh, beautiful entertainment center, you can see we have DirecTV that does not uh, have a signal. That happens quite often, which forces us to uh, pick up DVDs from the bargain bin at random truck stops across America. <laughs> and uh, those are housed in Joe's cabinet up here. Yeah, I have these little booby traps installed on my cabinet so that if anyone is going in my stuff, then I know that it's been moved. See, it's a very sophisticated system. You first remove the unicorn ears and then the butt plug. And this is also a deterrent because usually when people see a butt plug, they don't want to touch it. Hmm. Let's see what we have in living color. Austin Powers. These are not my DVDs! These are not my DVDs. I see what, I know what's going on. Someone put those in there to make it look like we weren't really doing what we were doing, guys. Which is watching this over and over and over. We're all really, really huge Lindsay Lohan fans. And there's two of her in this movie, actually. So this is pretty much all we watch. And then over here we have our um, kitchenette, I guess. Uh, with our... Uh, Fago flight from last night. We were in Detroit and uh, a friend of the band insisted that we try every single flavor and uh, so we did that and, and tried to entertain our Instagram followers. I, I, I gotta say, not really, not really a fan. We should entertain our YouTube followers right now by doing one thing that we refused to do last night no. and making no. a what they call no. suicide cup of Fago. And, oh, I know who will drink it. Elliot will drink it. You know what, it. Elliot was very busy last night. He was up all night in, in his office. He was always doing office work and like typing on a computer, writing in a notebook. So he, he missed the Fago tasting. I did, yes. So we're gonna make up for it right now. Okay. <laughs> You'll just get it all in one fell swoop. Hmm. The pineapple is the best one. Okay. I'm glad it's in Little hair of the dog, what do you say? Now let him taste it first. Little <laughs> hair of the dog, buddy. <laughs> Come on, live a little. Now it's really gonna taste like medicine. All right, go ahead. I don't drink anymore, I live vicariously through you. All right. Cheers, internet. Don't smell it first, that's You have thing. to drink the whole thing. Of course. Whoop, whoop! Down with the clown. <laughs> Down with the clown. Um, this is our fruit bowl, and this is um, basically stuff we've collected from different venues uh, over the weeks. Uh, some of it is fresh, and some of it is not so fresh. And I don't know why it's still in here. Well, but basically it's an activity. It's like no one ever eats the fruit. Everyone just thinks someone else eats the fruit. And then every once in a while someone goes through it and finds the fruits on the bottom that are moldy and yells at everyone, what the fuck, why are the fruits moldy? And then we throw them away. You mean you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, with that, I can show you the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> um, the funniest thing about this tour is that like most of the people that are on it are not like seasoned touring professionals. So they overbought like all the food, so they went to Walmart and bought everything. Like, this is just a catastrophe. Like, cereal and uh, like t like taco fixins. Hey, I use them. You make tacos on tour? Yeah. Well, our the microwave. Our support. Our support. One of our support uh, guys, Laser Punk, is on here, and he's he's from Budapest, and he didn't know he was supposed to cook the corn tortillas, so he was eating them every day, like, in a bowl with cottage cheese and peanuts. <laughs> Until someone was like, hey, that's gross, and he was like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, like, none of the, like, my stuff, all I eat on tour is, like, tuna, uh, almonds, and emergency, like, because... All in a bowl at once. At, all in a bowl at once, because what most people don't realize is that you can't go number two on these things, so it's very important to eat 
stuff that is not going to upset your Buying stomach. materials. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, so let's close this before everything falls out all over us. This is our printer. Uh, this is, never works. It's supposed to be for day sheets and uh, set lists, but our tour manager just ends up having to, like, handwrite them every night because nobody can ever connect to this thing. So I think it works twice. Um, and is, it, is it also out of ink now? No, I, they just can't connect to it. Oh, that's why. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is our uh, box of fluids. It seems that it's only filled with yangling and water. Another thing about these bandwagons is that none of the drawers ever seem to, like, stay closed. So Joe rigged this lovely... Uh, what, what would you call this, Joe? A latch. A latch. Joe rigged this lovely latch so that this thing doesn't just slide open every time we make a turn. And it's filled with more stuff that I cannot imagine that people thought was a good idea to purchase. Like just black beans. <laughs> Everything you talk is, shit is on your, is yours. Is, your, is it your peanut butter? No, that's that's laser pumps. Oh, that's laser pumps. We got towels. Why is ginger ale in here and it's open? <laughs> Who's doing? Here, let me show you the trash. <laughs> but this is a very ingenious rig, Joey. I'm very proud of you. Thanks. I don't even know what's underneath it, so. Oh, okay. That looks like it makes more sense. You got ramen, fruit bars. Okay. Tell them about the ramen people we met. Oh yeah, and the ramen people are coming tonight in Chicago. They are? Yeah! yeah. No! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! So we were in North Carolina. North Carolina waiting for an Uber and these guys in a Marishan ramen truck walked up to us and were like, Hey, are you in a band? We're like, yeah. Well, we're, look, we're, we're driving around giving out fancy ramen to, uh, to oh. students. And uh, if you guys want some, you can have some. So they gave us like four boxes, eight boxes of just tons of ramen, which has actually been quite a lifesaver on this tour. And they ended up coming to the show. Uh, they loved it, and they're based in Chicago, and they're going to be here tonight. So i got to remember to put the ramen guys on the guest list. Yeah. I'm terrified to open the fridge. This is kind of like where I don't ever go. Oh, it's not as bad as it used to be, but you can see, like, oh, oh, ginger. All right, that's not as horrific as I thought it might be. Uh, ranch or mayonnaise? Who's putting this stuff in? I don't know. This is terrible. Oh, what's this? It's a lemon. Okay. So you got your standards in here. Cheese. Cider, Pedialyte. Yeah. Oh, that should probably go, huh? What's that? That's. Uh... Oh, 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 oh my <laughs> god! Oh no! Yo, if you eat that, will you get drunk? <laughs> Maybe. <coughs> no. It's it's fine. It's just frozen. It's it looks frothy. It's fine. I'm gonna eat one. Do no, it. I'm not going to eat that. <laughs> Look at it. You said it was fun. It's <laughs> frothy. Yeah, it's moldy, that. too. I didn't know watermelon could get moldy. <laughs> oh, yeah, it can. Oh. I think anything can get moldy if you give it long enough. Yeah. Here, here, here let me there. show you our trash. Wait, is there a trash bag in there? This time, yes. Good. I'm so glad we're doing this because I think we'll clean out a lot of our bus. <laughs> All right. And then you've got um, olives with a dick drawn on them. Because if you can't draw a crowd, draw a dick. All right. I'm, I'm throwing this away, too. Why? That's why are pretty... there empty cups in there? Yeah, why are there empty cups in here? Why is there just a chunk of ice? <laughs> There's That's the Iceman setup. Our sound engineer is addicted to ice. 
He doesn't drink, but he's got a serious ice problem, and uh, this is this is probably his doing. And some are, are these uncircumcised penises? Those are my bananas, man. Come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think for I do frozen bananas because I bring I bring one of these and and I make smoothies. How many times have you done that on this tour? I've seen him do it. Yeah, I, how I'm many times? Maybe eight. Really? Yeah, I've more only than you have lifted your weights. Yeah. Look, if I'm going to buy a smoothie with <laughs> flaxseed, chia seeds, and a protein boost, that's going to cost me $10 anyway. And this was 80 bucks, and I've made eight so far, so I've not saved any money. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is our tour mascot. Uh, we don't really know where he came from. Uh, no lie. New Orleans, yeah. but but how did we acquire him? That, I just, don't know. Right. Um, usually when I'm uh, after show, I'm on vocal rest, so I don't talk after shows, and so I like write little notes. And I found myself saying more than anything, it's probably laser punk because our support band makes a lot of terrible, terrible, terrible mistakes, and we blame him for everything. So if something goes wrong, it's up. Uh, so this just kind of became the tour slogan. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh boy. This is um, probably laser. Probably punk. laser. Punk. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As you can see. Uh. All right. That's a little bit more concise and makes sense. So you, that's yours, right? Yep, that's me. Oh, you know how I know it's yours? Because it's got the prom dress in it. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing this for this? I couldn't fit it over my head. I tried yesterday. Where did you get this? <laughs> I, uh, one of our VIPs yesterday brought it. Does she know how tall you are? Did she think you would fit into this? No. But she asked me, do you want it anyway? And I said, yeah, it's an Hello Kitty uh, dress. But of course I want it. Cool. Yeah. All right. We've already seen what's in here, and I'm scared to get through all of whatever this is. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear this. Yeah, you can see you it. Can see. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I never, oh. <laughs> um, it's fun. The air conditioning constantly drips. And uh, despite our best efforts, we cannot control the flooding situation in here. So uh, basically you don't enter this area unless you're wearing shoes. But uh, this is the work area. We try to keep this as tidy as possible so that some of us can you know, sit down and do office work, which is not very interesting. Uh, when our printer doesn't work and we don't have day sheets, uh, we just use a dry erase board. So you can see our, our TM really cares about punctuality and, you know, <laughs> being on time. Oh, I was in charge of the day sheet yesterday. Oh, okay. So this is the sleeping and bathroom area. Um, this particular bandwagon has nine bunks. Uh, most of them have eight. We got this one. We were one of the first people to get the ninth bunk bandwagons. Either way, uh, sleeps nine and uh, the way that we selected our bunks is we wanted to be in the middle so that we are as far away from the engines as possible. And also the top bunks sway more than the ones at the bottom. So figured like the middle is the most uh, practical choice. So uh, since, since uh, we're the headlining band, we get to uh, choose whichever bunks we want and then the leftovers go to <laughs> crew and support. <laughs> so this is my bunk right in the middle. Um, it's directly adjacent to the bathroom, so um, that was not probably the wisest choice. I try to keep my stuff very tidy. Uh, I, I, water is pretty much the only thing I care about on this tour, and uh, so I just hoard as much of it as I possibly can in, in my own bunk. And, and then, of course, I keep the, the alcohol that I don't want other people drinking uh, right by my head, so whenever I'm stressed out by everybody on this tour, I can uh, 
you know, try to try to ease the pain a little bit. First of all, I, I always one of my biggest anxieties coming onto a tour is getting the right bunk because I'm the longest person here, and um, so what I always do is I come in first and I like because the bunks all look exactly the same, but if but so this structure is in a different place than this structure that had to meet measurements with the bench and everything. So a lot of times all the bunks are can have like a difference of this much in length. So I'll lay in each column in one bunk and see which one I can fit in. There's sometimes on tour when I have to I, I have to bend my legs, I can't be straight, but on this bandwagon I actually fit in this bunk with my head and my bottoms of my feet touching each wall. So it's just working perfectly for me. And I, I have all these hooks. I gave a bunch out to everyone. Um, I got this idea from watching the uh, Static X bus invaders, actually, and Tony was showing how he hung his stage clothes out here. And usually my stage clothes go in like a luggage and then they stink. So this has been working well. But check this out. This is like pretty nasty. It's like all this like, that's sweat. Pretty neat. And still, still a little wet from last night. You brought these hooks? Yeah, I brought these hooks. Here. I thought they came with. They're the my hooks. Okay. This is my magical fairyland. I like the, these lights. Suck. See, that sucks. So I put these like little pink Halloween lights in here, and I have this cooling gel pillow. One big. It's the. I'm always really big on making my bunk comfortable because this is where you need to rest, right? And you don't get a lot of rest on tour. And with the bus moving so much, I actually really love it. I sleep best when it's like I can be hitting my head on the top of this thing and I'm just like sound asleep. But um, you don't get great sleep on it, right? So it's important that you're comfortable in here. And they always put brand new sheets, blankets, and pillows with the cheapest like polyester stuff and you just sweat your ass off in it. So I went out and I bought all cotton everything and this thing has been a game changer. This little blanket instead of these like thick black ones, it's like this knit white cotton blanket and I put this little fan in here. Check this out. This fan is blowing on my feet and what happens is when I get inside here, I put my feet up here like this and the air blows inside the knit and aerates my whole little cocoon of wonderfulness and I sleep very well. And here is a quote that I read every day when I wake up. It says, if you want peace, forget yourself. Think of the benefit of others first. How can I serve you? How can I make you comfortable? That's the way it should be. Giving brings harmony. And there's a lot more stuff on there, but it's probably pretty boring to most people, so I'm gonna keep that private for myself. Contrary to, to all of this stuff, this is where I sleep. It's just very boring bed. I have a light that sometimes works. It goes on like this. You still have the, the park hand in there? Yeah. You sleep with a park hand? Yeah. Um, that's about it. It's in there? It's in there. <laughs> On the bigger buses, when you have a bathroom that has a shower, the shower's always in like where the toilet is and it's always super shitty, but on these things it's awesome and the toilet's separate and then there's this little room back here that I'll get to in a second. This is the toilet here. It's nice and dirty over there, you can see. But one thing that it doesn't have all over the seat is dried up fermented piss because we have a rule that everyone has to sit down and pee. Um, and a couple of people protested this rule and someone said the other day, I would like to see Joe sit down to pee. There's no way he can sit down to pee. Just so everyone knows, I actually sit down to pee at home. So fuck you for doubting me. And I had to come in here and demonstrate that I in fact can sit down to pee. <laughs> can everyone make water sounds. Okay, got it. See, no mess. And this is the room where we shower. This is one of my big bathroom hacks on tour is this little bag. 
that I got at Walmart. It's like a mesh bag. So anything I put inside here dries, right? So everyone's hanging up their, their towels and shit like this. And every day you come in here after it's been, the bandwagon's been driving and everyone shits on the floor. But not mine. My towel's right here and it's drying. And I got my Lufa and my bathroom bags and stuff like this, right? All safe and sound in here. And the sink is real weird. It does this, it like squirts out really aggressively and makes these strange noises. It's very unpleasant. And then there's a bunch of bullshit up there. That's pretty much it. I mean, I've only taken a shower in here one time, but I will say compared to like larger bus showers, this is like a normal great shower. I really quite like the bandwagon. Um, yeah, sometimes it runs out of water frequently, and then some people take uh, sh bottle shower showers with bottles of water, which is like kind of fucking crazy. But at least they're clean. Thank you all for hanging out and checking out where we live on this awesome tour. Uh, our new album, Into the Black, is out now. You should uh, check it out. It's everywhere digitally, physically, on our web store, all that kind of good stuff. But for the time being, we've got to get ready for our show, so I'm uh, going to have to ask you to mosey on out of here.